If you are dreading going on walks with your dog, if your dog walks are embarrassing, it's time for you to make a change. And I'm here to help for free. Today, you're gonna learn about loose leash walking and what we use and the tools we use to change the behavior of your dog pulling. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm working on loose leash walking. We have Sully, a five month monster. Monster, I'm telling you, this dog has no respect for me or the leash. And what we're gonna do is work on his leash manners because for my own sanity and peace of mind, he has to walk on this leash right. I'm using a slip lead provided by my friend, Chris Isaac. He makes the best slip leads in the game. He, this dog is gonna be on my left side. So I will use a capital P for the dog being on my left side. If your dog's on your right, you're gonna flip it and it should look like a nine. So for me, P, for proper, the dog's on my left side. Goes on over his head and it will go right behind the ears. Snug like a watch, it should not move, high up. And what we're gonna work on is directional changes starting with right hand turns. Every single time the dog passes my left knee, I will spin right and go the opposite way. Why? Because I need to communicate, not that way, but this way. Once I see the dog commit and turn back to me, I'm going to mark that behavior by clicking to the second. Now, if you haven't learned about clicker training, check out another one of our videos on how to learn how to mark your dog's behaviors the correct way. So it will start off like this. The lead's in my left hand. I'm gonna attempt to take one step if he follows, there will be a click. I'm not worried about his eye contact. I will change that criteria later. I will take one step. If he pops out the other way, I'm now turning right, moving, moving. And when they commit to come back, you will mark. Walking, walking. And what I'm doing is every single time Sully looks at me in my eyes or looks up, I will click, looks up, click and I'm trying to pay and move. I'm going to reward and keep moving. And if I wanted to make this more exciting, I could click and go. Let him chase down his reward. Why not? It only adds value to the reward because if I want him to pass other dogs, I need to be more exciting than other dogs. Now you got the directional changes down pack, at least your right hand turns. But what do you do when your dog understands the behavior, but decides to simply say, you know what, F you, I'm gonna still pull and I'm still going after that other dog. That's where we teach everything positively, but we're gonna start inserting corrections that need to be timed to the second. And a correction is a simple leash pop, meaning you give him the leash and you pop it, right? This is a very light version, it's not correcting him. And if your slip lead manages to move down, you need to constantly keep an eye on there and make sure it's still right behind the dog's ears, above the trachea. I'm gonna show you what some corrections would look like. So I don't need to correct because he's doing well, but I can anticipate when he breaks or stops engaging with me, that I will be ready to time that correction to the second, which involves me going the opposite way and correcting him. What this dog needs to learn is when I turn, you turn. And I need to turn and go to speed up his ability to take turns faster. How do I know that my corrections are being effective? Well, that's a great question. You'll know because your dog will snap right back into the correct behavior. So if I correct the dog and he turns, it comes back to me, that means he knows what I'm looking for. And we're simply going to reward that decision. Nothing changes when we add corrections, except that we are just going to change the direction and add the reward. So I turn, correction, he comes back. I know you learned, change the direction, timing the reward, timing the correction and how that all can take you away from those embarrassing, dreadful walks and bring you to a more pleasant, happy, fulfilling walk. So what I want you to do is support the channel, so like and subscribe, follow me on all the social media because we're delivering value each and every day.